Hello Nightmares, Midnight TV here bringing you a guide for the November 17, 2015 patch coming to Trove. This patch is all about PvP and the Turkey Topia event. Yay, I love turkey time. Gobble gobble. First, I'm going to show you guys all the goodies and then I'm going to let you know how to collect everything. The first two things we're going to talk about are the helmet styles. The first helmet style that you're going to be able to collect is called the Turbo Turkey Crash Helmet. And this is what this bad boy looks like. And then the other helmet you're going to be able to collect is called the Gobbler Gabaset. Not sure on the pronunciation of that, but this one looks super awesome. I really like it. It's kind of like a Shadow Turkey helmet. Really, really cool looking. The next area we're going to go over is the new mounts you're going to be collect. Oh, and I love these mounts. This first one is called the Shadowy Sarcophagus. Oh, this is so awesome. It comes from the Chaos Chest, but I'm actually going to get into how to get all this stuff a little farther into the video. But this is this one. It has awesome VFX. And then the next one we're going to talk about will be the uh, Springing Turkey. This is a Springing Turkey. It kind of hops along. Wobble, wobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> The next mount's called the Trotting Turkey. So this one looks really cool. It's kind of like an actual turkey, and you're just riding on it, riding around. The final new turkey mount you're going to be able to collect is called the Appeased Dream Gobbler. Now this guy looks really cool. Kind of like the helmet that I told you I liked a lot. This one is like the full mount version. It's like a shadow turkey. Really, really awesome. I could see myself riding around on this guy a lot. The last item that I'm going to talk about here is the Turbo Turkey Mag Rider. Now, you're about to get this Turbo Turkey, and again, I'm going to go over how to get all of these items here in a little bit, but here's a preview of how the Turbo Turkey Mag Rider looks riding around. Pretty chill little Mag Rider guy. The final thing to collect is the Turkey Topia wings. Unfortunately, they were not unlocked in the PTS, but this is what they're going to end up looking like, and you'll get them for free if you ever made a purchase from Tryon. Alright, now that I showed off all the goodies, let me tell you guys how to get them. The first thing you might want to do is go around and farm Turkey Topia invasions. These giant turkeys have invaded the Uberworlds, and it's our job to destroy them. Uh, destroying these invasions, you can get the two helmet styles, the Turbo Turkey Crash Helmet and the Gobbler Gabaset. And then finally, they also drop a mount called the Trotting Turkey. You're going to want to collect three of those Trotting Turkeys. Uh, one to learn for yourself, and then two to make the Appeased Dream Gobbler, which I'll show here in a minute. Um, but just be careful, because if you're farming for these and you're hanging out by your cornerstone, just don't do what I did right here. I actually blew up the floor and I ended up blowing up my roof up there if you can see. Oh my god. Alright, to craft your Appease the Dream Gobbler, make sure you head to the hub world, then go over to this big giant turkey here. You're going to want to go to the crafting table, and then to craft this you're going to have to have two of the trotting turkeys, that's why I said you wanted three, and then 100 shadow shards plus 300 steed feed, and then you can craft that bad boy. The last thing I forgot to mention was actually the uh, trophy that you can get from the turkey invasions. If you want to pick up this turkey trophy, make sure you just farm it for a while and eventually you'll get lucky and you'll snatch it. The last part of all this turkey craziness is the Turkey Topia mystery boxes. You can get these just going through the adventure worlds, so they're going to replace the adventure boxes for right now. And inside you can get the springing turkey and the turbo turkey mag rider. The last thing to talk about for all you completionists is the Chaos Loot Rotation. So in my Chaos Loot Rotation, I got the Soul Fire Wings, the Bone Weaver Mount, the Spite Biter Mount, the Reveling Reindeer, the Fast Frank, and when I got him, I actually got two of him. I got the Shadowy Sarcophagus, which is the new one, and then also the Chaos Butterfly Rings. Just remember that the loot here uh, could not necessarily be what's going to be on life, but it likely will be. And now comes the biggest part that'll be added to Trove, PvP. Oh my god, I cannot wait to get into some PvP action. I've done a lot of testing on PTS, but it'll just feel good to be able to do it on live. So if you guys want to participate in PvP, you go to the hub world, you come to this big building with the sword on it, and then you just click E on the battle arena. It's this big red skull portal. I'm not going to show you guys any PvP footage at the moment, but don't worry, I will have videos planned for that. 
All right, guys, that's my guide for November 17, 2015 Trove patch. We're going to see a lot of turkey stuff, and we're going to see some PvP introduced to Trove. I hope this helped you out, and if it did, remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. All right, bye, Nightmares.